One, two, three, four. A limited. They say women have a certain power over men. Uh, and I find it very hard. Like I can, I can jump over it, but I, I'm talking nonsense right now. Women can make men do strange things. Let's move this table and break it down right here. How else can you explain this? Damn. <laughs> that dude is off his rocker. Free get the axe. One, it's the date. <laughs> <laughs> it all starts now. A limited. One, two, three, four. A limited. <laughs> I'm Christine, and I'm a television production coordinator, and I'm also a magician's assistant. So as a magician's assistant, I get sliced up, and I disappear and reappear, and I levitate people. I don't mind shy guys. They can be a challenge. I love to just bring them out of their shell. But I also like an outgoing guy, somebody that has a great sense of humor. If a guy wants to really impress me, I'd like to see him bench press me. A limited. <laughs> I chose to start my date here at Bell's Point in Baltimore because it's a great place to hang out. Now round one, we're going to start off at Max's on Broadway because it's really trendy and it's one of my favorite bars here and I think the guys will love it. I'm an outdoorsman, like fishing, hunting, and uh, I'm looking for a girl that's willing to let a guy be a guy. My name is Justin. I'm in medical research and education with cadavers and, you know, if it disgusts you, it's probably not worth my time anyway. Hey, Hi. how you doing? Nice Hi. to meet you. Absolutely. What's your name? Justin. Justin. And yours? Christine. Christine? Nice Very to good to meet you. Absolutely. Here's a bottle of wine for you. Oh, thank you. Friendly gesture. When I first saw Justin, I thought, wow, great body, great smile, and he brought me my favorite drink, a Marlowe. Being a bartender is great because I get to meet a lot of people, make a lot of money, and have a good time. Hey, I'm Nick, and I need a girl who cares as much about her looks as I do. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. I'm Ned. I'm Christine. Nice to meet you. When I first saw Christine, nice body, nice smile, very cute. Girls in Baltimore are either hairdressers, living trailer parks, or legal assistants. My name's Mike. I'm not picky about girls. As long as she's got big guns, it's all that matters. What's going on? I'm Mike. Hi. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Mike? Yeah, good to see you. Nice to meet you. When I first saw Mike, I thought, yeah, he's kind of cute, um, great smile, very confident guy. I'm a shy and sensitive guy, especially if the girl's really hot. My name is Pablo, and I'm gonna pamper you all night long. Hi. How are you? This is for you. Oh, thank you. What's your name? My name is Pablo. Nice Pablo? To meet you. Yeah, nice shark. When I first saw Pablo, I thought, what a trendy guy, very stylish, and it was very sweet that he brought me flowers. Okay, guys, um, we're gonna start, just have a table over here, so if you guys wanna follow me. Sounds good. Okay. What I'm really looking for is a guy who is chivalrous and who will treat me with respect. Good so stuff. guys, um, tell me about yourself. What do you do for a living? I'm a student right now at the College of Southern Maryland and just that's about the it right now. Okay. Cool. Working part time. Part time? Where? Yeah, at a, a nursery. So. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Wait, what are you laughing about? What Nothing. Is nurse, you play with kids? No, nah, nurse it for uh, plants and uh, trees. Do plants? Landscape. Do landscaping oh, plants. Too, dude. So you grow your own plants? No, I just um, we do landscaping cultures. jobs and so. <laughs> Fruit, if you Fruit. will. All right, Pablo's playing with flowers in his spare time. You know, that's cool, but a little bit too gay for me. Uh, I sell pens and pencils. I do furniture too, basically sales, outside sales. A local company in Baltimore. What do you so do? Pens and pencils? Yeah. You want to buy some? Not really. Call your house, get crazy. You definitely you won't buy you. Go ahead. Next. I just graduated. I'm working at uh, McFadden's downtown in Baltimore. Power plant with bartender. I knew you were familiar. So, yeah, big bar, big popular bar. It's a lot of fun. What about you? Wow. Last but the hardest to explain. <laughs> uh, I work for medical science and uh, research. Um, I actually take uh, tissues from cadavers and uh, sent them all over the world for research and education. Justin's uh, gig was very unusual. I've never met a guy that has worked with dead body parts. What girl want to be with a guy who's with death the whole time? Let me come on. So what are you guys passionate about? What, you. What's your, <laughs> seriously. No, women. Passionate women. Treating her like a woman. How do you treat a woman? Like one? Yeah. All right, anyway. Yeah, look at you. Look at Mr. 
Mr. Okay. Dress Up like we're going out to like a Miss Fancy restaurant. I gotta give him extra points for that shirt. Yeah. Treating my woman. He has the matching panties underneath. We're giving you presents. <laughs> Victoria's Secret in the house. Tre treating you like a woman, how you should be treated. And how should I be treated? Treats himself like one. Dinners. <laughs> Going out, holding hands, <laughs> pressing your body, massages. Yes. Massages are good. Yeah. yeah. I think it was very insensitive when the guys were ganging up on Pablo, calling him gay. I mean, that was a little insensitive, a little bit cruel. They don't even know me, they just met me, and they're judging me on my shirt. Damn, dude! A pink shirt? Ugh! If you wear a pink shirt, I mean, it, you got some balls to do that, but, I mean, stick up for yourself. The kid has no comebacks, no game. I mean, he's, he's just taking it. So, you guys, um, based on your first impression, which of you do you think does not have a chance? The pink guy. Right there. Yeah. Orange out. It's too short. I'm too short. I'm thinking about the same height as you. Yeah, guys. That's all right, though. I'm wearing heels, though, so if And the same height's off. okay, but your pink wow. shirt's gotta go, buddy. Dude, you're short. Oh, you cut on your jeans. Dude, this is a rat race. You Holy. You got a whole messed up outfit. Your ass like totally like this, all right, man? Go pick a midget, all right? Shave. Oh, shave your I'm just gonna more or less let somebody mark. eliminate shave. their self right now. Oh, man. This guy's This guy's <laughs> These guys were just going off on each other. It was like a big cat fight, only they were guys. Coming up, who will Christine cut first? Pinky's going down. I think Pablo's gonna get cut, because Christine just can't stand for that whole pink shirt thing. I think Pablo's getting cut this round. I think she needs to eliminate Nick and Mike, because they have like big mouths. Eliminate. <laughs> who do you think Christine will eliminate first? Justin, Nick, Mike or Pablo. Okay, you guys, I had a really great time. I mean, you can't beat it. A date with four men at once. <laughs> so the next place we're gonna go is Spy Club. So we're gonna hop on the party bus and we can't fit all of you. So I'm gonna have to cut one. Um, so first of all, you go in. I do. I'll take you. All right. Thank you. And the last person is you, you go in. And I'm sorry, you, when Mike was ganging up on Pablo, you were more of a follower, and I like a man who can take the lead. Gotcha. I'm sorry. Have a good time. It was nice meeting you, though. Thank you. I cut Nick because I just wasn't feeling any chemistry with him whatsoever. Whatever, she's really not that cute anyway. Pablo, I can't believe you didn't get cut, but ready for round two, baby. Christine, peace, have a good time with those three. You know, Mike's cool, Justin's cool, but Pablo, that was a big mistake. We're gonna start round two in the party bus where we can sit back and have a few cocktails. <laughs> On round two, I'm looking for a guy who will stop fighting with the other guys and who will pay some attention to me. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. To, to, to tonight that we have to round two. That's right. <laughs> we made it. Yeah. Bing, bing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, who here do you think got picked on in high school? Got picked on in high school? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Interesting question. Um, it's like all the eyes come right here for some reason. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's no offense. I mean, it's not, it's not <laughs> ahead, anything dude. against you, but you, obviously by your shirt, you want to, you, right. you were going for a different thing. Cheers right? to my shirt. Yeah? I, I mean, it's, okay. no, it's, there's nothing wrong <laughs> with that. I'm, I'm saying, right. I'm just, what, just, what made just you pick that? Let's ask you. It is, it is. You're going in your closet, too. bro. You're opening your <laughs> and it's like, what the f am I gonna wear tonight? What made you pick that shirt? This is what I'm about. It's like, trendy. I, I like the shirt. Wrong. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I didn't, no. I didn't this yeah. Mike, you need to get off the gay thing for Pablo. I mean, you seem insecure if, if you have to keep bringing that up every time. So, how would you describe like your kissing techniques? Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> kissing you want to techniques. Find out? It's up to you. <laughs> I'm curious. Huh? Get crazy, bro. <laughs> you want to be the stud? Oh no! I, I'll Why tell don't you, you what. describe it? I describe. Okay. Um. It's a sensual lip to lip, obviously. It's probably go with tongue and. Pablo was ready to kiss me right then and there, and I felt like he was smothering me with attention. It was too much. <laughs> well, how would you describe your kissing technique? My kissing technique. Uh. Soft and slow. I mean, there's kind of like a fine boundary between where a girl, she has a boundary to herself, and I find a very hard like line right in between that where it's like, uh, I, you know, I can I can 
jump over it, but uh, I'm talking nonsense right now. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to explain no, how I'm, I like how I'm to doing. Take it slow. Yeah, no, totally. And he probably hasn't even kissed. Probably one, maybe mostly by one girl in his life. He's an amateur. He doesn't know what he's doing, and that's why he didn't know what he was saying. So we got out of the party bus, ran out in the rain, into the spy club, and got to learn a little bit more about the guys. So you were telling me that you work with dead bodies. I, I thought that was fascinating. You could I've, put never, that on, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've never met anyone. Dead so what is that like? Can you tell us about it? Never had a complaint, first off. Uh, yeah, no. you know, he's, Don't you think that makes you kind of strange by doing that stuff like that? Strange? Yes. Yeah, it does. It does. You know, it, 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 who else is going to do it? You know, I, not me. Justin probably has better luck with dead people because they'll sit there and listen to him instead of walking away from his ass. So, you speak some Spanish, right? Give me a pickup line in Spanish. Tengo tanta sed de ti que me cuesta respirar. I have so much thirst for you that it's hard for me to breathe. Pablo, you may be thirsty for me, but I think you can do better than that. It, it wasn't very romantic. So what do you guys think of this place? It's, it is tiny. It's a bit claustrophobic. But, uh, there's a dance floor upstairs up down. What kind of dancing do you do? I'll rave it up where with you, man. Yo, I think you should have a rave competition. The rave competition? I'm saying, why don't you, why don't you fill us we, out? Yeah. Let's move this table and break it down right here. Right here? Okay. Clear the area in the middle of the circle. Okay, let's get the laser lights. Holy sh I'm gonna get my ass kicked. I took it to the, uh, the dance level because I thought the other two cats had no clue what was going on in life, and so I just challenged them. Yeah. We'll have a, a dance off. But it just makes you look like a jackass. <laughs> Mike has some talent there. I mean, I can learn a few moves myself from him. Crap. <laughs> so I tell you, I honestly, I suck at dancing. You know, I I couldn't be the worst. Okay, just uh, loosen up, loosen okay. up your hips a little bit, <laughs> and you can okay. get closer. Closer. Closer, huh? Yeah. Okay. okay. He didn't know what he was doing. He just stood there and looked like a total idiot. We can move around. <laughs> Dude, don't knock her down. <laughs> Caress the arms or the body. He's just a total retard. Has no clue what's going on in life. No. <laughs> you have to relax. Relax? Okay. You're, you're tense. Just like... <laughs> That's it. That's actually, that's just how I am, but we'll rock with it. Why not? You see, the thing is with the whole, uh, the whole rave thing, I, I don't get it. When Justin was freaking Christine, I just thought that he was reminiscent of dancing with one of the cadavers. Yeah, I mean, I, everybody was laughing. Even people were booing him. I'll, I'll do a nice slow dance with you. Nice slow dance. Dude, call me Timo. <laughs> Holy <laughs> I felt uncomfortable. It, it was too much. He's smothering me. Pablo is about as much competition as a five-year-old boy. Who will Christine eliminate next? I think Pablo is going to get cut uh, because you know he tried a little too hard. I think she's going to eliminate Justin because the way he danced. Justin's going to get cut because he has a, as much game as one of his cadavers. Eliminate. <laughs> Who is Christine going to eliminate next? Justin. Mike or Pablo. So we've come to the end of another round and I have to make a decision. It was a very difficult decision. And I'm gonna have to let you go. Oh, that's cool. So that's cool. You you were more into dancing than into me. So. That's cool. Good luck. Alright, take care. Right. Break till dawn. So guys, let's um Watch your hands, dude. Watch your hands. Let's go stairs and dance.
Alright, let's rock it out. Mike was just more into clowning around than he was into me. All I had to say is, wouldn't you be embarrassed walking in the bar with those two herbs? That's it. Mike talked a lot of crap. You know, thought he was all that, whatever, but you know, that's why he's walking, I'm still in the game. I'm going home and I'm going to bed. I have a real job tomorrow and that's it. So for round three, we were at the spy club, we changed our clothes, went upstairs and hit the dance floor. Christine's outfit, it was slender, it was sexy, you know, she looked great in it. The dress brought out everything, how beautiful she was. I have to say that both of the guys cleaned up well, although Justin was a little bit casual with his shorts. I mean, we were going out to dance. He could have put on some nice dress pants. It's called class and he's got no class. I gave Pablo his chance to dance with uh, Christine, and that's cool, but damn. <laughs> I'm only gonna let it get so far. Well, I mean, we were dancing, we were switching back and forth, and then Mr. Man thought he was the man that kept blocking me away from her. Contact sports, if that's not your thing, you don't mess with me, because that's my thing. Justin, at one point, you almost had me in the police hold. I, I didn't know if you were gonna arrest me. What, what was going on? They knew that if I would've danced with her, I would've took her away and I would've won her heart. I felt like a rubber band. I mean, they were stretching me, pulling me. Yeah, I didn't feel like I was dancing. I felt like a piece of meat or something. So after we hit the dance floor, we went downstairs to the red room. It's a cozy little room where we got to relax and have our final discussion. Now, I'm sure by now you're, you both are dying to ask each other a question. Like, what would you, what question are you dying to ask each other? My question to you <laughs> was, what is your nickname with the bathhouse, dude? <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, man. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I didn't understand what he meant. I'm dead serious. I didn't know what he was talking about the bats. I asked him, I was like, please explain. I don't know what you're talking about. And then he just laughed. Whatever, dude. You can't even explain yourself. That's why you're wearing shorts to your date. All right, that's cool. <laughs> a date? Yeah, dude. It, you know, if you, if you haven't looked outside, it's like 90 degrees outside, dude. Does you wear shorts? Yeah, do you, you like, like jeans in 90 degree heat? You take your to you and you wear shorts. Yeah, like, uh, that's a little class. Like, like right? really? That's a little class. Shorts on a date, yeah. dude? Yeah. My God, give me a break. A class. You with a pink shirt for crying out loud, telling me how to dress, I have nothing to say. That, that dude is freaking off his rocker. Okay, what do you think is the most annoying thing that has happened tonight? His laugh. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> dude. The that's money. The, that's the dude, most annoying. Hey, hey, look, she asked me a you, question, dude. I'm here. answering the question. Let me, let me cut in here. The most annoying thing about this whole thing is that dude's presence. <laughs> I think he's kind of been like a, kind of like a uh, freaking what? rock in the road, man. Rock he's just been road. a bump. Yeah, all right. Sorry. Man, driving me up Sorry. the wall. <laughs> Say there he goes again. <laughs> they don't know. Oh my God. We'll see. It's a tough decision, you guys. <laughs> Will it be Pablo or Justin? The final cut is next. A limit day. <laughs> Great time with both of you, and unfortunately, I have to eliminate another person, and it was a difficult decision. And it's gonna be you. Uh, why? You were just smothering me with affection, and it was it was too overwhelming for me. All right, well, thanks. I had a good time. You too. Thank you. She'd rather be with a guy that that can dress, has a worse laugh, and he can dance. I mean, as often as she wants, then so be it. I didn't choose Pablo because he was smothering me, he was groping me, and I just felt very uncomfortable. He creeped me out. I know that out there, there's my dream girl waiting for me. Don't worry, girl, one day we'll meet up.